Hi everybody, Jeff from Abel here. Uh, we're here today to take a look at the Sony Venice uh, full frame or full format camera system. And we want to emphasize just how modular this system is and why we think it's a great fit for rental organizations in particular. We're going to kind of field strip the camera, removing the PL mount, exposing the E mount, locking E mount underneath. Then we'll take the sensor block off and then finally remove the fan. Uh, which is the only uh, component inside the body that has moving parts um, other than the ND filter wheel in the sensor block. And then uh, we'll also remove the R7 recorder, which we've got here on the back, and uh, put it all back together again, and we'll, we'll meet back here. But for now, let's head over to service. Okay, uh, our repair technician, Milos, has the Sony Venice body on his bench. He's removing... Uh, with a 2.5 millimeter Allen uh, hex driver, the six screws that hold the uh, PL mount on the front of the camera. Once those are removed, the PL mount can come off and that's gonna expose the locking E mount nested within, which is a pretty nifty design. You can see uh, just how short the flange focal depth or back focus distance is on that Sony E mount, which is what allows so many different lens systems to be adapted to it. Uh, now he's removing uh, with a three millimeter Allen or hex driver uh, the six screws which hold the sensor block and also the ND filter wheels the up to eight stops of ND and single stop increments is a great feature of this camera. Uh, they're contained within the sensor block as well. And once those six screws are removed, starting with the ones on the bottom, the sensor block can be pulled off, comes off pretty easily. No cables, just a single high density bus style connector and a heatsink, of course. In fact, much of the body construction is meant to provide thermal management. That's one of the ways you can get camera bodies this small. Now he's removing a few screws that'll provide access to the fan compartment, which is really the only component in the interior of the body that, that has any moving parts and the only one that uh, you'd be likely to need to replace uh, in the field or between projects. Everything we're showing in the video is a uh, field serviceable aspect of the camera, something that could be done by an owner, uh, rental technician, uh, preparing the camera to be rented again. And uh, the rule of thumb is if you encounter a Torx head screw, that's something that you shouldn't touch uh, and should leave to an authorized service facility like Able Cine, where Sony certified professional repair facility for Cine Alta cameras, including the Venice as well as the, uh, the FS5, the FS7. We perform all levels of maintenance and repair, including warranty service, and can provide any upgrades that may be offered by Sony, either now or in the future. Uh, back to using a three millimeter Allen to remove the R7 raw recorder from the back. You can see that comes off pretty simply. And now uh, you can get a look at the, the carcass, if you will, compact, Good design, really, really well put together. So we're back out in our rental bay uh, with the camera completely reassembled and fully built. Uh, you can see we've got some power distribution on the back, uh, including a, uh, a plate to change from the native V-lock or V-mount battery terminal on the camera to uh, three stud or gold mount, uh, which is what we use here in, uh, in our Brooklyn facility. We've also got a pretty nice lens, 50 millimeter master prime, as well as a TV logic focus monitor and some other accessories, a kind of typical starting point for a build, uh, depending on what you might be doing with the camera. So that was a look at the modularity of the Sony Venice camera system. Thanks for joining us everyone and we'll see you in the next video.